this is Piney Prepper Bill. I've been away for a while. I'm going to try and make a couple of videos. Uh, I needed to take a break and get away, but um, a lot of things been happening going around. A lot of things been going on at the home front here. Uh, it's a story for another video or something, but I got some videos that are probably going to be taken down. I don't. I'm going to have to do them one at a time and see if I get copyright strikes or if they get taken down for community guidelines. And if you do two or three in a row or something, you're going to get taken right down. So I'm going to try and do it uh, kind of covert, I guess, with words and titles. So I'm not going to put them in the video title. I'll just put clips or something in there. But for this first one... Uh, the news is bullshit. Uh, the media is bullshit. I was born and raised in New Jersey. I've lived here almost my whole life. I've moved out of state a couple times and moved back. But Jersey is a shithole. It's ex expensive as hell to live here. The taxes are crazy. The dumbest people I've ever met come in frickin' New Jersey. But here we go, here. A survey ranks New Jersey as the number one state to live. Uh, are you kidding me? They compared 50 states, 52 factors, housing, cost, income growth, education. New Jersey ranked number one overall and number four in low crime rates. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Garden State is U.S.'s Garden of Evil. Oh, I mean, Garden of Eden. Massachusetts and New York rounded out the top three. The last survey is a far cry from April's poll that ranked New Jersey third worst. We have Camden, New Jersey is like number one in the first two or three as far as crime for years. Atlantic City is like a war zone. And they're saying New Jersey is the lowest in crime rate? Are, are you kidding me? Who believes this stuff? Uh, well, come to New Jersey. Everybody I know is moving out of New Jersey. Um, I don't know how many people that are still living here that haven't already moved or trying to move. But they're, they're finding syringes all over the beaches now, supposedly from the hypodermic needles for, no, uh, for, I guess, diabetics and diabetes. These syringes have washed up from the New York subways from the last storm. Um, don't those storm drains, isn't this syringes from the street? I wouldn't say this is people throw, <laughs> throwing stuff down the toilet like they're saying. But anyway, so come on down to our beaches, come in the waters. All our cities are, are crime ridden. Everything's closing. Everything looks like apocalyptic world. But if you go to our beaches, we have syringes everywhere. So be careful where you walk. It's expensive as shit. They'll tax you to go on the beach, probably $20 or $40 to park your car to go on a beach. But if that doesn't get you, Here's something else that Jersey's good for. Jersey is famous for uh, Jaws. In 1916, uh, well, they said it was a great white shark, but shark, great whites don't go in fresh water, so it was most likely a bull shark they came out with now. But in 1916, a bunch of people were killed uh, off the coast of New Jersey and in uh, the Manawan, am I saying that right? The Manawan, Manasquan River. Yeah, in fresh water. People and kids were killed in the river. So yeah, Jaws was based on a New Jersey shark attack that left four dead. And uh, and now, uh, just the other day, they caught another great white shark. 
She is nearly 900 pounds and 11 feet. Her name is Bria. She is a great white shark. And last Friday, she was tracked close to the coastline of Atlantic City. Today, she is in Rhode Island. And this path up north is normal this time of year. Sharks this size can travel 150 miles a day. I don't have to get in the water. I can view it. He can live in his own habitat. I'm on the beach. I'm on the land. We friends. <laughs> a 900 pound shark. I definitely not getting in the water. Hold on, Dad. Hold on, Dad. The head of OSEARCH, the Ocean Research Organization who tracks sharks like Bria, spoke to us last July when the 10 foot great white Miss May pinged near Atlantic City and they gave advice on what to watch out for. If you walk out to the beach and the birds are crashing on bait and game fish are crashing on bait, if there's seals on top of that, then you might have a larger predator coming in to balance that system. In Atlantic City, Annie McCormick, Channel 6 Action News. So isn't that nice? New Jersey is the place to be. New Jersey is the place to come. We have Camden is worse than New York. And they said New York. Where is it here? Massachusetts and New York rounded out the top three. Are you kidding me? New York is horrible too. But we have... It's just ridiculous. Don't believe everything you, you read. This... These articles are because everybody is moving out of New Jersey. New Jersey needs people to come in. They need your money. Come to New Jersey. So this is one video. This is Pony Prepper Bill, and I'm working on a couple other ones, but I'm trying to see how to uh, get around uh, the wording. And even in the video, uh, it's, they do all these checks and stuff now before it even gets out there. When you hit produce... It does checks, and they come up with all kinds of stuff, and certain words I say, maybe I'll just put them on the screen or something. I don't know. So this is, come to New Jersey. We want your money. We don't care. We got sharks. We got needles. We got crime. We got high taxes, and some of the worst school systems uh, I've ever seen. This is Pony Prepper Bill, and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.